everyone, thanks for joining me for our devotions today. We want to talk about bringing the presence of God, how to cooperate with God that we could see His presence in our midst. So we want to dive in today and we're going to look at the, from the Old Testament, what is the Ark of the Covenant. It is really a symbol of the visible presence of God. And I want us to go to the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 13, verse 3. King David desired to seek after God, to you know, to have a relationship with him, to inquire of him, and he sends for the ark. Let's read that in verse 3, and it says, Let us bring the ark of our God back to us, for we did not inquire of it during the reign of Saul. Let's pick it up a little further in verse 6, and it says, And David and all Israel went to Bala of Judah, Kiriah Jerim, to bring up from there the ark of God the Lord, who is enthroned between the cherubim, the ark that is called by the name. They moved the ark of God from Abinadab's house on a new cart, notice on a new cart, with Uzzah and Ahio guiding it. And David and all the Israelites were celebrating with all their might before God with songs, with harps, lyres, timbrels, cymbals, and trumpets. Now when they came to the threshing floor of Kiran, Uzzah reached out his hand to steady the ark because the oxen stumbled. And the Lord's anger burned against Uzzah, and he struck him down because he had put his hand on the ark. So he died there before God. Then David was angry because the Lord's wrath had broken out against Uzzah, and to this day the place is called Perez Uzzah. Our key verse is verse 12, and it says, David was afraid of God that day, and he asked, How can I ever bring the ark of God to me? That's a very important question. How can I bring, ever bring the ark of God to me? How I can bring the presence of God? Now, when we look at this story, you know, in first reading, it seems such a harsh judgment against Uzzah. But really, only the priest was supposed to carry the ark and not even touch it. He was not a priest. So he had good intentions. And when the, you know, the oxen stumbled, he, you know, he wanted to protect the presence of God. But that indicates God couldn't handle or take care of himself. God had already instituted the correct order how to bring his, parent, his presence. So David then had to go and discover what is God prescribes me. What is the manner that God has already ordained for me to bring the ark? So we'll pick up the story in 1 Chronicles chapter 15 and verses 12 to 15 where we're going to read. And it says, And David said, You are the head of the Levitical families, you and your fellow Levites, are to consecrate yourselves and bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. It was because you, the Levites, did not bring it up the first time that the Lord our God broke out in anger against us. Notice the next line. It says, We did not inquire of him about how to do it in the prescribed way. Reading from the New International Vision, there is a prescribed way, an ordained way for God's presence. Let's continue. It says that so the priests and the Levites, they consecrated themselves in order to bring up the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel. And the Levites carried the ark of God with the poles on their shoulders, as Moses had commanded in accordance with the word of God. So that was the prescribed method. So there was no need for them to reinvent the wheel or to try a new method. You know, the new cart, what does that really represent? It really represents today for us modern technology the modern touches, the quick, faster mechanisms that we use. But that could support the presence, but not bring the presence. That's not the key ingredient. So it's not our methodology or our concepts, but we need to find out what is God's order that we can bring his presence. We don't determine what will bring his presence. God has already revealed in his word how we can bring his presence. So let's go to the New Testament in the book of John chapter 4, verses 23 to 24. And Jesus says, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in, the, in spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is a spirit and his worshippers must worship in spirit and in truth. So that question David asked, how can I ever bring the ark of God to me? It's good for us to ask, how can I usher in, the, how I can bring in his presence? We need to say to God, how do I pray? What songs that I need to sing in my worship? Not just my favorites in my private time with him, but ask the Holy Spirit really to help us. Because if we are spirit-led in our worship 
and we operate in truth, that will bring the presence of God. So the Holy Spirit is our helper. He wants to glorify Christ and he will show us how to pray. He will show us how to worship. Because at the end of the prayer time, at the end of our worship time, we want God to respond. We want God to show up. And when he shows up, he is going to respond and he is going to reveal himself because we're desiring of bringing the ark of God, the presence of God in our lives in every way that he can. So we're looking forward to seeing our walk and our relationship with God deepen and we can have the manifest presence of God.